Hi, Matt the Tube Crowley here. In this video I would like to measure the back drag of a variety of quarter-inch ratchet wrenches. To do that I'm using a Seekonk Precision Tools torque gauge which measures in inch ounces, a very low amount of uh, torque. So this is a Tecton Six, call it six, 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 six. It's, uh, six inch ounces, significantly less than any uh, three eighths or uh, half inch wrench. Now moving along to a similar roto head, but this is by Gear Wrench. The handle is a little bit bigger. At least it fits my hand just a, a tad bit more nicely than the, the Tecton's a little bit good for three fingers but not really for four so I like to handle the gear wrench better but let's see how the gear wrench does for back drag six seven <coughs> call it seven 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 so maybe a tad bit more than the Tecton, at least on this measurement. Some of these measurements can vary a little bit, even from time to time. This is an old snap-on quarter-inch ratchet that I got uh, many years ago. I believe I got it used, and uh, the date on it uh, indicates that it was from 1995. And it's one of these low tooth count ratchets, and it has more back drag than some of the more uh, modern ratchets. Six, seven, call it seven, 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 seven. Yeah, so not too bad as far as back drag goes. We'll call it seven inch ounces. This is one of the more modern uh, gear wrenches. It's one of the XP120. I think that Gear Wrench recently redesigned their heads to be a narrower. Uh, head on that, but uh, so this is the, I think this is the original shape of the XP120. Six, seven, 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 eight, 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 nine, wow, eight, so eight or nine inch ounces back back drag and uh, this is an SK that I got not too long ago it's got one of these nice quick release uh, mechanisms and uh, it's got a, a classic round head shape that's all about five six 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 Six, yeah, that's not too bad. Six inch ounces. Back drag on that. <coughs> now we come to a Tecton, another uh, quick release. I like the shape of this. It's a uh, nice, well balanced tool. It's five, four, five. Five, five, five inch ounces. And here we have one of the older 90 tooth uh, gear wrenches. Four, 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 four inch ounces. <coughs> A little bit counterintuitive, at least for me, that the 90 tooth in this can, this case has less back drag than the 120. So the tooth count is not necessarily an indication of the back drag force. And uh, here we get one of the modern uh, 120s. You can see it's a much narrower head design than the older 120. And as compared to the 90 tooth, it's also uh, narrower in the head. <coughs> Six, 
five, 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 five. Yeah, let's call it five inch ounces of back drag on these modern XP120. So here we get to the supposed king of the hill, the snap-on. This is a recent snap-on um, I purchased on eBay. <coughs> it's a nice design. The handle's nice. I don't quite get four fingers on it, but I can wrap my index finger around the uh, uh, main shaft here. Uh, it's a nice design of handle, and the whole thing seems well-balanced. Obviously a very well-made instrument. <coughs> Five, 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 five inch ounces. So in the same ballpark as some of these others, but not uh, particularly superior in that parameter. So here we get one of the modern uh, night icons. I believe this is a 90 tooth swivel, uh, swivel head there. Five, 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 yeah, five inch ounces. So here we get an interesting, uh, this is not, I think, being sold as a ratchet wrench as much as a bit driver. The uh, hex uh, receiver there allows a uh, hexagonal um, screwdriver bit but it does have this uh, socket adapter with the ball detent, so you can uh, drive sockets with it, and it's also adjustable for in this position too. Um, I've had weird situations with this switch. I've had it lock up briefly, and I had to turn it back in the opposite direction. It's probably not gonna happen while I'm doing it on camera, but uh, the other weird thing about this is that on the underside, there's a bunch of little dents on this corner. Um, I can feel it and I can even see it. I don't know if it's visible on camera, but they are there. Um, this is, it's also a little bit loose and what's a little bit disturbing is that it's kind of, it's, it's rather loose um, as far as the in actual ratchet mechanism goes, but it's a very narrow head. It's even, it's even narrower than the uh, modern X, XP120. So uh, you could use it as a uh, for driving sockets. I don't know that you it would be your first choice. I also the, the, the shape of the handle is good in that in theory it gets your fingers a little bit elevated over the the plane that you're working with. Um, but I don't think this handle is very nice. It's not very aesthetic. Uh, it doesn't feel very comfortable. I'm not sure what they were thinking when they came up with this design. But let's check it for back drag. Two, two, three, two, wow, two inch ounces of back drag. That's quite impressive. Now we get to the Koken. Uh, these are renowned for being uh, very low back drag and ratchet wrenches. It's one of the uh, low tooth count. I, I think this is something like 24. So uh, there is that of a consideration. Also the the switch is completely backwards as to every other switch in this collection. Two. Two. Again, two inch ounces, so excellent as far as uh, backlash goes. And finally, we have one of the modern Capri 90 tooth. Uh, this is CP90914. And the balance is very good, uh, even for a quarter inch. Uh, I like the size of the handle, uh, it's relatively is long, slightly longer than the uh, the gear wrench, um, but it uh, is beefier than the gear wrench handle. So the, the handle is good. 
Uh, the balance is good. Uh, you can tell it's a very well engineered uh, ratchet mechanism. Two, 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 two inch ounces. So uh, I will come right out and say it. I am very impressed with this Capri, both in the quarter inch and in the three eighths. Um, I prefer this over the Koken, the same back drag, but the Koken's uh, very coarse, and if you were in a tight position, you might not have enough <laughs> room to uh, move your ratchet to get a purchase on it. So, also a consideration, it's vastly cheaper than the supposed King of the Hill, the Snap-on. Um, if I was uh, buying a new ratchet of any of these, I would most certainly choose the Capri.